Inadequate seat belt alerts are a problem in 9 out of 10 pickup trucks tested by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The agency says they're trying to get automakers to improve the warnings to force more people to buckle up. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia digs deeper into the seat belt warning issue. When you're out driving, it doesn't take long to encounter somebody in another vehicle who is not wearing their seat belt. And when it comes to pickup truck drivers, the figures show they tend to be the worst offenders. Only about 86% of those that are in the front seats of pickups are wearing their belts. That compares to about 92% when you look at those that are driving SUVs or cars or minivans. This crash video shows what happens to an unbelted occupant in a 35 mile an hour crash. The IIHS says unbelted occupants account for 56% of fatalities in pickups. One would assume the best way to get drivers to put their seatbelt on is to annoy them with some kind of constant alert. That's really the goal of our seatbelt reminder rating systems. The Institute wants a 90-second audible reminder loud enough to overcome ambient noise in the passenger compartment of a vehicle like this one in the Toyota Tundra crew cab. Currently, NHTSA only requires that you have an audible signal that will last from four to eight seconds. That's not nearly long enough or annoying enough to get drivers to really buckle up. Of the 10 crew cab pickups it tested, only the Toyota Tundra earned a good rating for both front and rear seat warnings. Four others had problems with either being able to hear the warning or the length of the alert. And five crew cab models made by Chevy and Ford failed the IIHS warning standard of 90 seconds. The Institute says the fix is easy. We're confident that they can make these changes in most cases through a simple software change. Turns out longer warning tones are already included in pickups sold in Europe because the law there requires it. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprager.